Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining me today. I have Elliot Goldman, sales director of Benny Wave. Elliot, tell everyone, tell all my subscribers hey. who Hello. you are. Hello, everybody. I want him to introduce himself so you understand a little bit about him, how long he's been doing this for. Um... Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Elliot Goldman. I've been in the audio industry for, well, a really long time. <laughs> Over 50 years. Uh, I grew up in New York and I, uh, after college, went to work for a company called Lafayette Radio and worked for a couple of them and then opened my own store on Long Island. I did that for a while and then I sold it to my partner and went to work for a little place called Lyric Hi-Fi in New York. Uh, which was, at the time, uh, the preeminent hi-fi store on the planet. And um, it was really a lot of fun back in those days, and uh, the industry was a lot smaller, but we carried, you know, all of the best products of the day. And back then, um, I was fortunate enough to uh, get involved with Harry Pearson, who's the guy that founded The Absolute Sound, and he was one of my teachers and mentors, and... Um, so I stayed at work for a while. Anyway, to make a long story short, moved to Florida in 1992, and I've been a dealer since then. Stopped for a little bit, and then about four years ago, um, my partner and I opened up Bending Wave USA, which we are the U.S. distributor of uh, Gerbil products. We had a couple others which we dropped, and um, from COVID, we became, I became sort of a dealer again, and to be honest with you, to survive. Uh, it was tough being a distributor during COVID without being able to travel, and I'm a dealer for things like Wadax and CH Precision, Esoteric, Stenheim. And I met Jay about... Four or five years ago? Yeah, about four or five years ago. Yeah. He ended up uh, buying something from us. 2301 Macintosh. Right, tube amplifiers, right? Tube amplifiers, 2301. And early on, we had some, um, some battles, which... <laughs> To I mean, put it to lightly. Be, to be, well, to be honest with you, I mean, like, and, and Jerry knows I'm a straight shooter. I, I tried to explain to him that you can't be a dealer and a consumer at the same time. Yeah. So if you want to buy stuff used and buy stuff wholesale, that doesn't extend the same privileges that if you buy retail. Yeah. And a lot of people, when they first get into business, don't understand that. Like, if I'm selling you something at my cost, I don't really want to be bothered with it once yeah. it goes out the door. Um, you know, I'm not making any profit, I'm doing anything. So uh, we eventually got by that, and, and over the last, I guess, year or two, we've become friends, yep. and um, I'm glad to see that what he did here is, um, did a nice job in the room, it really looks nice, uh, it, it sounds good in here, um, no argument, it sounds good, um, and he's got some cool stuff here. Now, before we get started, okay, the purpose of this video is to hear an industry expert give his take with regards to my resume, my stereo system, my room, everything that I've done here. Um, I felt that it was long overdue to have someone who so had I'm been an doing American this. American Idol judge now? Is that kind of like an American <laughs> Idol judge. Yeah, exactly. So I wanted to have, you know, someone that has heard a multitude i mean just a tremendous amount of systems he's traveled all over the place he's displayed a, a lot of the u.s shows that you typically see primarily with wadex gerbil and uh, ch precision um so you know i wanted him to come by and just give his input and by the way this is completely uncut like he's gonna talk about the good and the bad something that a lot of you have been asking me for uh so that way you understand that hey there is no perfect system so he's gonna I, would, I don't want to say rip it apart, but he is going no, to try to be as bad. honest as possible and, and, and obviously just, you know, let you all hear what he has to say. Now, before, though, before I say that, okay, um, I want to make sure that you understand that he's listening to brands he doesn't represent. And so I know the narrative will be, well, you know, if he's a dealer for his brands, so he's never going to say good things about Wilson Audio or Griffin or my DAC, which is still going to be um, unnamed for the, at this time. I'm not going to say what it is, so we're going to refer it as my you digital domain. No, you can't tell them yet. <laughs> um, and uh, so we heard primarily, again, Wilson Audio, uh, Audio, sorry, excuse me, uh, Griffin, 
and the doc. Okay, so that those are the main key players here in the room. Right. Uh, so he's gonna give his opinion, not being a dealer for any of these brands, okay, including the doc. Uh, so go ahead, Elliot, okay. and why don't we get started? Well, with first, first of all, I want to express it this way. I mean, first of all, I think uh, I'm not one of those people that's gonna tell you this is garbage and that's garbage because I don't believe that. Um, my my biggest belief in audio is that too many people want to look at the individual components of something when they're talking about it. And the reality is I'm not listening to Wilson speakers. I'm listening to everything in this room. I'm listening to uh, system, the yeah. Griffin amplifiers and the, the DAC without a name and the preamp and the cables and the room acoustics in the speakers. So, I mean, I talk about to all my clients that you're listening to a system and you should be looking to either purchase or assemble a system. And I believe, and I've said this to Jay many times, that the setup of said system is just as important, if not more important, than the components that you buy. Meaning, if we took, he's got some heavy hardware in here, no argument, some expensive stuff. If we took this and put this in his kitchen, and we took um, a, a decent integrated amp and a small pair of speakers and set them up in this room, we'd probably get better sound. And I'll, I'll put it to you this way, even better. Jay has the XVX. Now, I've heard this speaker maybe four times, five times in different places. And uh, we saw each other in Munich. Yep. And in Munich, and I don't mean to embarrass anybody, but I'm going to say how I feel. In Munich, there was an English distributor there that had a big, giant room with a lot of equipment in it, which we went to. Yes. Okay. And in that room, they had these speakers and a full DCS stack and the top of the line D'Agostino preamp and amplifiers and transparent cables. And I don't know how else to say this, but it was god awful. Okay? okay. Now, I don't think, I'm not saying the equipment was god awful. I'm saying that the sound that they produced in this fishbowl with the way they had it set up, if it was my system, I wouldn't have played it. Okay. I would have I left it off. Um, I've also heard these speakers at Robert Harley's house, and now I'm hearing it at Jay's house. So it's your second, and it's your second time around. Quality time hearing. Quality time because I mean shows we know how that goes. It's hit or well, miss. Well, they don't have these at most shows in the U.S. Yeah. anyway. And, and, shows, and the reality is, this is the proper place, space to hear them. Well, no at argument. At this level, yeah. look, I do shows all the time, and um, show is very hit and miss. Yeah. And at best. At best, in a show, maybe you can get 75% of what you would get in what I call a mature curated system, meaning a room that's been addressed where you have the speaker set up in the proper position, you're sitting in the proper position, and you've assembled a cast of characters, your equipment, and hopefully work together that's in right. conjunction to produce music. So um, I think that's really, really important. And I think it's highly underrated, and I'll put it to you this way. Most people don't set, don't put any value into system setup, and so they spend their whole audio life, uh, and I'll quote Fleetwood Mac, searching for mysteries without any clues, and, and they're trying to solve problems that are self-inflicted, meaning if I took the speaker and I moved it two feet back further to the corner and the bass was, say, really heavy, I'm trying then to fix it by what? By changing my components or my cable or something else. So I'm trying to buy something that has less bass. So, in fact, I'm actually buying an inferior product to fix a problem that I've created. And there's nothing wrong with understanding or admitting, and because we all don't know everything. And I, I don't know everything. Jay doesn't know everything. I mean, I, I'm, I'm good at what I do and setting it up, but I'm not a wizard at everything. I've not tried every combination of equipment in, in every room. That's impossible. It's right. just, I'm trying know, to, but it doesn't work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, and the and point is, you know, when I was younger, I, I went through equipment really fast also, and I found after a while that I didn't listen to music anymore. I was constantly listening to the gear, and yep. I became unhappy, yep. and I didn't want to do that. So, All right, so let's talk about my resume, my system, and we're going to start with the cons, things that he felt could have, it could have done better, um, and again, he could be as open as he wants to, 
So let's start with the bad, which is what a lot of you want to know first. Okay. The bad, okay? People I, want to I know. I have to preface that by I'm I'm a little bit of a snob here. I I own a Wattax system, which <laughs> I, I'm not ashamed to say. I feel is a transcendent product in the audio business. I've been doing this a really long time. Um, I think that if there was a weakness in what I heard here, and okay. I'm being really critical. And, and by the way, this is him extrapolating a little bit because he's heard a system together that he's not familiar with. So he's kind of more or less letting you know this is what he thinks could be the problem, but it's... It's not a problem. I think my source is better than yours. Okay. okay? I still hear some digital type sound in here. Digital, okay. okay? Um, I, I've not really extensively listened to an Apex, okay. but I have heard Griffin stuff before, and I have a tremendous amount of respect for them. I think they make really good product. I mean, this amplifier is, <laughs> it, it, it is, it's more like a refrigerator than it is an amplifier. I mean, it's, you know, Jay and I were talking about this. The funny thing to me is that, um, I told him a couple of years ago, CH Precision, which I'm a dealer for showed a prototype for the Model 10s, and it was an amplifier this size, and okay. they asked us our point. I even have a picture somewhere of me trying to pick this thing up. And I'm not a fan of that size because my customers don't like it. Yeah, I okay? get it. You can't really put this on a piece of furniture or anything else like that. Now, I know Jay. Jay likes big trucks and big wheels and big stuff, and, I mean, this is a big, gigantic, Brutus kind of thing, um, but it's beautifully made. Yep. Yeah beautifully finished and it grabs these speakers by the short hairs and shakes them i mean <laughs> it's got tremendous control um it's a, it's a really good sounding bunch of gear i think it really is and um so you, you don't like the digital as we were saying so that's one thing that you feel you i think the digital on. i think that there are products out there that are better than this okay okay what I is know it about one, digital so the digital feeling is that well there's I, I think what digitized? i'm hearing a little bit in the mid-range and the upper mid-range is this, especially on some of the complex stuff that we played, this kind of fatiguing type of sound. Okay. Okay? And I don't believe that's the speaker. Um, okay. uh, and I don't believe it's the amplifier. Uh, I think the amplifier is doing a really good job. Um, Wilson may not be my favorite speaker on the world in the world, but doesn't mean it, I, I don't respect what they do. They make, they make an excellent product, and they make one of the best speakers in the world, Okay, so, so, so the digital part you're saying it's a little it got a little bright. Then what else did you find? What other? Okay, now I think that what I listen to is a little richer and fuller in the upper bass region than okay. this. This has fantastic deep bass, tremendous dynamics. We're gonna I mean, we're, we're gonna get to the pro. So let's talk uh, okay. about the negatives. I mean, it, it's not a negative. It's it's or it, what it, you it, thought it could I, do better. I, I think that this is a characteristic of their speakers. Of that I speakers. feel, yeah, okay. that okay. They're, they're just, I don't like the, the, the whole bass region on their speakers as much as I might like it on some others, okay, okay. particularly the upper bass, not the, upper bass. the deep bass in here is very good, um, but the upper bass, the rest of it, I think the system has got, you know, hold it, go ahead, hold it, okay, let's, let's, let's just stay that's it for the negatives, so, so you said, okay, so, so just to recap, he says that my digi digital could be better, um, a little bit of brightness there, a digital feeling. Which I think is digital, yes. Okay. I don't and think the, it's the system. I so it's, it's the digital, so the, the source could be improved. And he's saying, um, as far as the mid-bass, it's a Wilson thing. It's a little him. thread there compared to right. other brands that I might So to. Yeah, so he feels that that's something that he's picked up on different... Um, In other words, Wilson the bottom systems. of a male voice, the upper part of a bass guitar or a string bass, I just think... It's not as rich and full as I like it. Okay, so... That makes sense. All right, cool. So now that we have gone over what he thinks as far as what my system could do better, in his opinion, to his liking, um, let's talk about what you liked about the system. Well, first of all, the system it kicks ass, okay? It does. It's got... It's explosive. There you go. Got tremendous dynamics, um, huge soundstage, you know, wide, high, um, extremely clear... Uh, does it's a big speaker, so it does a really good job with. Uh, like we played, I played something for Jay called um, "Coward of the County." It's an album by Ginger Baker, who used to be a, a rock drummer, and it's a jazz album. And um, we played the first track of that album, which has got trombone and trumpet and piano, and Ginger Baker, who's a great drummer, soloing throughout the whole thing. And 
it, it's a tough piece for a lot of speakers to play. It, it's a lot going on, and it did a beautiful job. It really okay. got everything. It's got awesome. the impact, the dynamics, the space, the air. It, it did, you know, it's real again, really, really good, involving, impactful, um, fun. Fun. Okay? No, fun. Those are things that you, yeah. you mentioned. It. Uh, I think you made a couple of comments about the wow, shocking dynamics and the feeling of the, you know, that there's a lot of muscle. And yeah, yeah. There's a, tromb a, a, a bass trombone that comes out and it knocks, almost knocks you back in the yeah. seat, you know. And, and yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a big speaker. It moves a lot of air and yeah. it, uh, it does a really good job. And as I said, it's the first time I've heard the Apex and... Um, in a controlled environment where it actually... Well, I, I, don't, I never heard of Apex before. I've right. seen it in a show. I don't remember them ever playing yeah. one. Um, I, I, I'm trying to... I don't think so. Um, and, I mean, it sounds like what it looks like. You know? Sounds like... It sounds like a gorilla, it. you know. It's, it's, it's got that's yeah. just got. I said it before. It's got my. It's like if I designed it, this is what I would do. For me, um, to your earlier point, I just like big stuff, and that to me. Yeah, this is, is a four-wheel drive truck with six hundred horsepower. That's that's it. Man. That's to me. That's I. I just. It's like I'm, you're attra that I'm attracted to that right. because once you hear that, uh, it's a. Not only is it a hard, a difficult following act for other amplifiers that don't have this brute control, forceful. Uh, presentation. There's a lot of energy that that amplifier Tremendous puts into the room, yeah. right? You feel that it's just it's just commanding the speaker. Um, what are your thoughts in the room? Like, what is it that you? Okay, I know you kept clapping. Well I, or, well, I wasn't in the room before, so I, well, you know. But what you hear right now? I was in your old house. Right, which you were in your living room. Yeah, so when I was in my living room. That was a long time ago. Um, I was worried when I saw the pictures. I remember that. Room, that. That you might have over-damped the room. I remember so, that. You made those comments, yeah? Yeah, because uh, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff in here. There is, yeah. Um, but I don't feel that way I'm in here. I don't feel like, you know, when you when you, when you you sit in a room, and I've been in plenty of them that are over-damped, where it's difficult to talk, you have to raise your voice in order to talk. Um, it's It's quiet in here, okay? I can't say that... Maybe a little less or a little more would better. It's hard, yeah. I, this I is the know. first time. I, I don't know. But um, I don't find it uncomfortable. I didn't find anything listening here that I would say in acoustically was bad. Okay. okay? Right. Is this the best chronosonic you've ever heard? All things considered. <laughs> don't don't be afraid. This I'm you try, I took it I took it like a man. I accepted the I, criticism. I, you have to just, without making any references, you could just come out and say, from whatever it is that you want to say, say it. Like, is um, this I, more to your liking? More to what Elliot would select? I, I, I heard them at Robert Harley's house yes. with different equipment, and I've heard them here. There were things about his system that I liked probably a little better than yours, and things about your. They're more exciting here. They're okay. more exciting. Okay. Okay, they thank got, you. They got more, you know, impact here. Now... I don't know if that's... And mind you, I have no bass, no no cabinets, no subwoofers, none of that. It's literally my right. Apex with the two Chronosonic XVXs, and he hears more impact. Now, I mean, again, there's more impact, it's more explosive, it's more dynamic, it's more... Which I love, that this is what I here. feel a Wilson audio However, speaker should sound like. I think he had better source than Oh, yeah, had. I mean... And I think that some of the okay. things that his system did as far as, you know, focus and layering, it probably did a little better. I would like both... <laughs> I mean, it would be fun to have an M10 in here. Well, um, bring uh, Darzio. I, I, I mean, uh, CH. I have four sixty eights. Yeah, CH. I know you watch me. CH position. I know you're there watching me right now. I'm calling you out. Let this man get a couple of M10s and bring them here. Let's do this. Well, Let's I have do. M10s, but he has them. So taking, I know that taking you, them out of my place is a pain in the ass. Well, I know that CH watches me. Okay, a lot of these brands watch me. Elliot. I know they do. They're hiding behind the bushes, peeking. Seeing what Jay is up to, okay? So I'm calling CH yes. out. Well, I'm going to have another dealer who is not a Wilson Audio dealer, is not a Griffin dealer, probably visit me this coming weekend, so I'll make sure to get his impressions about my system. Again, good and bad, I don't care. It's fine because at the end of the day, you know, it's preferences. I have to like it, not them. It's me who has to like it. But hearing their feedback also makes me zoom in on what improvements I can make in, in the system. So... Thank you again for that support, guys. Stay tuned for more content. Please subscribe and hit that like button. Take, thank you, Elliot. Thanks, man. Thanks thank for you. having me. Take care.